press the like button during the video. It's the only payment I take for doing these videos. The first thing you want to do after downloading this spreadsheet onto your computer is save it to your hard drive on your computer. You will notice there are six tabs along the bottom of the spreadsheet here. First one is being a note from the author, which is me, and I tell you a little bit about why I developed the spreadsheet for you. The next tab at the bottom is called Instructions. In these instructions in that I go through and mention all of the tasks that you have to do to fill out the spreadsheet and give you examples of each one of the pages in the spreadsheet. If at any time you need to make the print larger or smaller to fit your vision, you can go down here and move the slide bar and it will give you a larger or smaller view of the spreadsheet. <coughs> Moving on to the data entry page. The first time you access the spreadsheet, you are asked to, to enter three pieces of information. The first is your name, followed by the year you were diagnosed with IBM, and the third is the name of your doctor that gave you the initial diagnosis of IBM. As soon as you enter those, you will never have to do it again and it will show up on the, uh, some of the next uh, charts and summaries. If you notice on the left hand side of the page, we have all of the uh, questions uh, uh, regarding the functional rating scale for your uh, ease of, uh, of, uh, of reading. If you take your slide bar at the, across the bottom here, you can move it over so that the year that you are taking the test, and it will be whether it's for you or the caregiver, is right next to the question. It makes it easy to, uh, to put your answers down. So the first question, you want to get your cursor in the box provided here. Uh, it's regarding swallowing. Uh, take your choice of uh, 4, 3, 2, 1, or 0 that best meets your, uh, your uh, situation and uh, put the answer in the box. Go down to the next question. Handwriting. Uh, pick what uh, best uh, suits you and enter it in the box. Move down. Cutting food and handling utensils. Uh, right now I'm pretty, let's put a number three there. Fine motor tasks. That'll uh, be another three. How do I uh, how do I do in the uh, subject of dressing? Well, I'm mostly independent, but uh, there are a few things that I need a, uh, an assistive device for. So it looks like number two is my answer. Hygiene. Um, I have a hoist over my toilet seat to get me up, uh, so that would mean that's a number two. Turning in bed. Well, I can still turn alone, but man, it's getting to be uh, pretty tough. So that's a, a two. Sit to stand. Requires use of arms. It requires uh, from a device or person. Uh, I, I need a lift chair or a elevating seat on my power chair in order to get to a standing position. So the answer here would be a, a one. Walking. Uh, the only way I can walk is uh, uh, using a an assistive uh, device like a cane. Put my answer there. And climbing stairs. I uh, really can't do that at all anymore, so that'll be a zero. And if you notice, my score ends up to be a 20. 
if you have a spouse or a caregiver that would like to take the same test, you have them. And I'll just quickly uh, go through here. And it's okay if they have a different opinion of uh, what stage you're at in your IBM. Uh, they may not be able to see you all the time and experience what uh, what you go through. So uh, they may be uh, there. Uh, they may be better or worse than what you, you think you are. Again, this would be what your caregiver would be sitting down and uh, and using. Well, there's the two scores. They're pretty close, but a little different, 20 and 21. So you're done with your test now. So if you want to go up and hit your, your save, <coughs> and we can go on to the next screen. This is your FRS data summary. This is just a summary of the years that either you or your caregiver or spouse and that have entered scores for. Um, over the next coming years, as you uh, do the test uh, more and more, it will uh, it will populate your uh, chart or your graph here. If you look at the chart only, it'll give you a, a visual representation of of the two scores: the blue being the patient's rating, and the red being the spouse or caregiver's uh, rating. And this will also populate automatically uh, when you enter scores. Now, for any buddy who has FRS scores from previous years, you can go back to the appropriate year for which you have scores and enter them under the year in which the FRS was taken and it will automatically update on your charts. The last tab that we have at the bottom are my notes. Uh, you can enter any type of information that uh, you want here. Like uh, uh, during my IBM, I noticed that my weight uh, has changed quite a bit. So um, I want to start uh, uh, documenting my weight. Hit enter, and again, after making any changes on the spreadsheet, make sure to go up and click on the save in order to save all your data. <coughs> 